Hayes, an all-conference selection. Now Jay Pearson bumps out of one tackle. Inside the 25, loose football, and Illinois, they want to create more turnovers this year, and they do. That may not officially be a TFL. It's no gain on the play. And now a turn and toss, and there's room to run for Caden Fagan. A lot of room to run, and then upended near the 20-yard line. In the end, that's where the decision is made. Now here is Altmaier, fakes the handoff, throws. This will be a touchdown, Pat Bryant. Wow. Hank Beatty and Mac Resetich are candidates to return punts, and it's Resetich with the first opportunity. And that had a little bit more giddy up to it than I thought it would on that line drive. But speaking of giddy up, Mac Resetich has got some. Henry Boyer right now is the tight end. Altmaier's got a ton of time, slings it for the sideline, and it's Zakari Franklin. He's caught it inside the five. Put the catch in the end zone. McCray, no, they won't go to him. Instead, it is a wide open Tanner Orkin. So uh -huh. I did, he did play tailback. He was like cooler at a single digit. I got stuck with 47. He's a better athlete. Good player for East Illinois. And good player for Illinois. Interception. To get back to the center field to bail out Matthew Bailey on the coverage. And so after the interception, Caden Fagan runs on first down and great balance. Used his hand to stay on his feet. Went to Missouri State and then went back into the portal after spring ball. And here's a run and a lot of room to run for Aiden Lawfrey. Lawfrey started tonight at running back, and this is one of his most impactful plays in the game. And Aaron Henry was so excited yesterday about seeing Joe Barna, the freshman, get some snaps on defense tonight. Oh, and here's trouble. Pressure and interception. Torrey Cox Jr. Three interceptions in those two seasons. Aaron Henry described his fall camp as electric. And here's a throw. Pat Bryant. To which he responded, come on now, I'm a big guy, I like the Colt. <laughs> Here's a pass to the end zone, LZ caught the first pass of the drive, and he's caught the last pass of the drive! Touchdown, Illinois! Former head coach at the University of Chicago, charter member back in the day at the Big Ten, MJ Flowers caught it, and then knocked down by Caleb Patterson. Wilder, the shotgun snap, nowhere to go for Pierce Holly. Wow. Just love the call that Seth Coleman ran right there. Now Lawfrey goes in motion out of the backfield. A clean pocket, a good pass to Ashton Hollins, but his foot in the ground, spins to the outside and down the sideline. First time he's been involved tonight. Well, they dial up Caden Fagan's number again. Yes, they will, and this is a no doubter. Into the end zone. That was not a clean play by Patterson. He'll learn from that, though. They were trying to throw it to Darius Smith, who had caught the pass on first down, and Pierce Holly has to eat it. Joe Barna, promising freshman. 39 yard line of the Illini, fourth and eight. Pierce Holly to throw, and they convert. It's caught at the 25, running to the inside of the field, and then the ball came out at the last minute after Darius Smith and caught it. How about Dylan Rosick? This is what you call hustle, folks. They coach that drill every day, every week probably, of how to get the football out, execute to perfection by Dylan Rosiak. And they go on an end around here, and there's space for Aiden Lawfrey. Lawfrey running down the sideline, and outside the 40-yard line. Well, we move on here early in the fourth quarter. I did not think Franklin Pierce and F. Scott Fitzgerald would both be referenced tonight. We now reference Josh McRae untouched into the end zone.